Let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all of our lives. Nursing is an art, and if it is to be made an art, it requires an exclusive devotion as hard a preparation as any painter's or sculptor's work, for what is the having to do with dead canvas or dead marble, compared with having to do with the living body, the temple of God's spirit. It is one of the fine arts, I had almost said, the finest of fine arts. I attribute my success to this, I never gave or took any excuse. Live life when you have it. Life is a splendid gift there is nothing small about it. Nursing is an art, and if it is to be made an art, it requires an exclusive devotion as hard a preparation as any painter's or sculptor's work. Nursing is a progressive art such that to stand still is to go backwards. How very little can be done under the spirit of fear. The most important practical lesson that can be given to nurses is to teach them what to observe. Nature alone cures. What nursing has to do is to put the patient in the best condition for nature to act upon him. For us who nurse, our nursing is a thing, which, unless in it we are making progress every year, every month, every week, take my word for it we are going back. The more experience we gain, the more progress we can make. Never underestimate the healing effects of beauty. I think one's feelings waste themselves in words, they ought all to be distilled into actions which bring results. Live your life while you have it. Life is a splendid gift. There is nothing small in it. For the greatest things grow by God's law out of the smallest. But to live your life you must discipline it. You must not fritter it away in fair purpose, erring act, inconstant will but make your thoughts, your acts, all work to the same end and that end, not self but God. That is what we call character. I am of certain convinced that the greatest heroes are those who do their duty in the daily grind of domestic affairs whilst the world whirls as a maddening dreidel. Life is a hard fight, a struggle, a wrestling with the principle of evil, hand to hand, foot to foot. Every inch of the way is disputed. The night is given us to take breath, to pray, to drink deep at the fountain of power. The day, to use the strength which has been given us, to go forth to work with it till the evening. The very first requirement in a hospital is that it should do the sick no harm. If I could give you information of my life it would be to show how a woman of very ordinary ability has been led by God in strange and unaccustomed paths to do in his service what he has done in her. And if I could tell you all, you would see how God has done all, and I nothing. I have worked hard, very hard, that is all, and I have never refused God anything. Let whoever is in charge keep this simple question in her head, not, how can I always do this right thing myself, but, how can I provide for this right thing to be always done? The kingdom of heaven is within, indeed, but we must also create one without, because we are intended to act upon our circumstances. Jesus Christ raised women above the condition of mere slaves, mere ministers to the passions of the man, raised them by his sympathy, to be ministers of God. Starting a job and working hard is how to be successful. Apprehension, uncertainty, waiting, expectation, fear of surprise, do a patient more harm than any exertion. Our first journey is to find that special place for us. The next Christ will perhaps be a female Christ. When shall we see a life full of steady enthusiasm, walking straight to its aim, flying home, as that bird is now, against the wind, with the calmness and the confidence of one who knows the laws of God and can apply them? Rather, ten times, die in the surf, heralding the way to a new world, 
than stand idly on the shore. People talk about imitating Christ, and imitate him in the little trifling formal things, such as washing the feet, saying his prayer, and so on, but if anyone attempts the real imitation of him, there are no bounds to the outcry with which the presumption of that person is condemned. I never lose an opportunity of urging a practical beginning, however small, for it is wonderful how often in such matters the mustard seed germinates and roots itself. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle how very little can be done under the spirit of fear. Unnecessary noise is the most cruel abuse of care which can be inflicted on either the sick or the well. The world is put back by the death of everyone who has to sacrifice the development of his or her peculiar gifts to conventionality. Statistics is the most important science in the whole world, for upon it depends the practical application of every other science and of every art, the one science essential to all political and social administration, all education, all organization based on experience, for it only gives results of our experience. I use the word nursing for want of a better. It has been limited to signify little more than the administration of medicines and the application of poultices. It ought to signify the proper use of fresh air, light, warmth, cleanliness, quiet, and the proper selection and administration of diet all at the least expense of vital power to the patient. A human being does not cease to exist at death. It is change, not destruction, which takes place. For the sick it is important to have the best. If a patient is cold, if a patient is feverish, if a patient is faint, if he is sick after taking food, if he has a bed sore, it is generally the fault not of the disease, but of the nursing. Christ, if he had been a woman, might have been nothing but a great complainer. May we hope that, when we are all dead and gone, leaders will arise who have been personally experienced in the hard, practical work, the difficulties, and the joys of organizing nursing reforms, and who will lead far beyond anything we have done. All disease, at some period or other of its course, is more or less a reparative process, not necessarily accompanied with suffering, an effort of nature to remedy a process of poisoning or of decay, which has taken place weeks, months, sometimes years beforehand, unnoticed. Were there none who were discontented with what they have, the world would never reach anything better. Hospitals are only an intermediate stage of civilization, never intended to take in the whole sick population. May we hope that the day will come when every poor sick person will have the opportunity of a share in a district sick nurse at home. The symptoms or the sufferings generally considered to be inevitable and incident to the disease are very often not symptoms of the disease at all, but of something quite different of the want of fresh air, or of light, or of warmth, or of quiet, or of cleanliness, or of punctuality and care in the administration of diet, of each or of all of these. Never give nor take an excuse. Remember my name you'll be screaming it later. There is no part of my life, upon which I can look back without pain. I stand at the altar of murdered men, and, while I live, I fight their cause. It may seem a strange principle to enunciate as the very first requirement in a hospital that it should do the sick no harm. It is quite necessary nevertheless to lay down such a principle. People say the effect is only on the mind. It is no such thing. The effect is on the body, too. Little as we know about the way in which we are affected by form, by color, and light, we do know this, that they have an actual physical effect. Variety of form and brilliancy of color in the objects presented to patients are actual means of recovery. To understand God's thoughts, 
one must study statistics, for these are the measure of his purpose. Nursing is one of the fine arts, I had almost said, the finest of fine arts. That religion is not devotion but work and suffering for the love of God, this is the true doctrine of mystics. Woman has nothing but her affections, and this makes her at once more loving and less loved. Religion was important to me. My family and I were very religious. I actually believe the work I did was a calling from God himself. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.